Ako. Hello my world, this is Apostle Chen Wapandosha Ministry Worldwide and Home Builders Worldwide. Um, God is a very good God and uh, um, this actually is a testament to the glory of God and to tell the world that there are still new things happening and God is still God. It's the same God yesterday, today and forevermore. The people are still getting born again, that there is still revival taking place. So we are going to I have here with me my dear beloved son, Noah Egan. And he is going to be the one that will be giving his testimony on how God reached him and how God is touching him. Our uncle scripture today is going to be um, Revelation chapter 12. I'm reading from verse 11. They have overcome him, the devil, by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their life as to shy away from death. I want to ask, how did you meet the Lord Jesus Christ? How did I meet the Lord Jesus Christ? Well, um, I went through um, some difficulties with mental health issues. Um, I sort of used to go to uh, to mass, uh, but I, I I didn't find really spiritual value in that. Uh, so um, and what you call, I used to um, I, I I I used to have uh, some psychiatric problems, but I I always thought that the answer to my problems was um, spiritual, more so than what you call it chemical, you know. There's an old saying in Narcotics Anonymous, there's no um, spiritual solution to the chemical, or chemical solution to the spiritual problem. Mm. So I, st I started, started seeking a small bit. And um, I saw it kind of in the wrong places at first, you know, uh, I became fascinated with uh, transcendental meditation you know and I'm glad that I didn't go down that route but it, it, it opened doors like to me being interested in things like yoga and mm -hmm. stuff like that you know and um, I bought books from Harry Krishna's and stuff like that and I did the chanting and you know the kirtan the, the, the chanting and stuff like that and um, you know it was it was like you know, like uh, then I, I I did it, and um, all of a sudden you know I got um, I got into this trance all of a sudden, and this this deity, this this Krishna deity or something uh, came to me, and he said, "You will bow down before me," and I, it was it was a frightening thing, you know, it was very frightening, you know, and. Um, Basically, I said no. I'm I'm I, I'm too afraid to uh, you know follow uh, that kind of path of austerity and all that can kind of thing. Like you know, so uh, instantly he he left. You know, and um, basically, what I, I I did it for a while, and he, it it never came back. You know, and then I got kind of got into Buddhism for a while. Uh, when I was in hospital, I met with a. Buddhist inside the hospital. Uh, I, I went to St. Patrick's Hospital in Dublin, what got it for treatment for bipolar disorder. And uh, basically, um, I uh, like, you know, Buddhism basically was got me on to things like mindfulness and stuff like that, you know. It, like, you know, like the Buddhism is basically faith without God, mm. basically. You know what I mean? Like this, mm -hmm. like you know. And I tried the mindfulness. Like you know, I was doing the meditation and the what got the, the the mantra meditation, like mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And all of these things, like you know, they were only temporary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I felt like you know they were only temporary. Like mm -hmm. you know, they weren't really giving me any spiritual value or gusto. You know, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. You know, like all, all of these things were only temporary. And then, you know, I discovered like on YouTube one time, you know, like uh, I kind of got, 
got angry with with the whole idea of God, like you know, mm -hmm. what kind of true. It was true Buddhism that I discovered, kind of atheism, mm -hmm. and um, I kind of got angry with God, like how could this happen to me? Like you know, like how could, like you know, how could I I suffer so much? Like you know, what kind mm -hmm. of, there there was so much suffering, like you know. And I was doing like the, the meditation and like, you know, mm -hmm. trying to suppress my desire, mm -hmm. like as it says in, in Buddhism, like, you know, mm -hmm. like desire is like, mm -hmm. you know, is, like is, mm -hmm. is, is suffering is caused by desire and all this kind of stuff. Like, and I was trying to suppress it, like, and mm -hmm. do the meditation and, mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't working, like, you know, so mm -hmm. I discovered on YouTube um, a fellow by the name of Matt Dillahunty. Mm -hmm. uh, he was he, he did a show called the atheist experience mm. and um, the atheist experience is basically a show where you kind of call in and um, you know uh, like you know he, they encourage believers like Christians mm -hmm. and of other faiths like but mainly Christians to call in and basically what they do is they demolish their argument for the existence of God, mm. you know, and, and that's what this Matt Dillahunty person does. Like he was a former pastor, mm. and um, you know what you call it. Um, I found their arguments what you call it incredibly, you know, incredibly, um, you know, uh, convincing at the time. Like you know what I mean. Like you know, using mm. all these philosophical devices. You know, like uh, teleological arguments and so, on. and it seemed so convincing. But then I suppose the turning point for me was, you know, I got into atheism for a while, like, and I was convinced by it. I was convinced there was actually no God, mm. you know. But then the turning point for me was I got an acoustic neuroma. Mm. Um, an acoustic neuroma is basically a, a, a tumor of the. Um, the hearing nerve in your ear you know it's uh, it's a benign tumor mm. and um, you know I, 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 I sort of started um, getting these um, these weird sort of like the doctors couldn't explain it mm. you know I was getting these um, they, they, they just put it down to oh a psychosomatic like panic attacks mm -hmm. like I was getting these these piercing piercing pains in my, like in the center of my my brainstem almost mm -hmm. you know like like as if like 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 something somebody was stabbing a knife mm. through my brain mm. and um you know the doctors couldn't explain it. i was waiting for my um how, how do you say it? i was waiting for my appointment in beaumont to see the specialists and of course i did the whole dr google thing like you know and um watch out i was researching about the treatment for them and the treatment was horrendous like I'd say I have to do uh, surgery or radiation mm -hmm. or something like that mm -hmm. and um, basically what you call it I I, I was sitting I was sitting um, you know at home in my my, my, my mother's and my um, my family's home you know and my two my two my brother and sister they mm -hmm. were um, born again people from um, uh, America, what should I, they they lived in America, like, uh, uh, and they were home for 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 a time, and uh, I started getting this this massive pain in my head, mm -hmm. you know, like you know this attack, you know, and the doctors couldn't explain, like you know, because panic attacks usually mm -hmm. they usually happen in the chest, mm -hmm. like you know what's going on in the heart area, mm -hmm. they don't happen in the head, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, you know, but. Um, basically what was happening was um i, I cried out to god mm. basically i just you know like you know there was no rhyme or reason to it mm -hmm. basically i just that instant i said god please save me mm. you know watch god you know you know the way the bible says there's mm -hmm. a we have a measure of god and a mm -hmm. measure of faith you know i just i my i suspended my reason like you know and then you know of course my my brother and sister they prayed over me and my brother said to me like you need to start seriously thinking about god like you know what the, the, the panic attack stopped mm -hmm. after that mm -hmm. and it was after that i started thinking okay i i, I better start taking this god stuff seriously 
you know, I better start taking this seriously because this has stopped because, you know, there was no rhyme or reason to what was happening for to me, like, mm -hmm. you know. So I, I, I downloaded a Bible app that week and um, I just started reading and, and whatever reason the verse of the day was John 3 3 you must be born again mm -hmm. basically you know to enter the kingdom of God and uh, I, I read that verse for a week and I, and I was reluctant because I, I, I really I really didn't like what you call it you know um, born again Christianity at the time mm -hmm. like and I was very afraid of it mm -hmm. at the time and um, Basically, what I did was I, I downloaded that app and I read that verse and mm -hmm. I thought nothing of it. But a series of coincidences happened. Um, I was going for a walk and um, basically uh, I, 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 I ran into um, uh, Apostle Albert Obaday. Uh, uh, basically, the. the, the uh, um, uh, outside my apartment he had just after come from a prayer meeting and um, automatically we got to talking and we we uh, exchanged numbers and I thought nothing of it you know because you know I I, 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 I like to like you know meet up with new people you know <laughs> and um, it was basically a, a Friday I think it was I remember the date it was the 24th of June I think it was <laughs> And um, I got really depressed that like I like I was um, I, I I used to take these this this uh, drugs like to, to quell these uh, head attacks you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but they meagerly worked you know and they kind of sent me into a depression that day mm -hmm. and um, I could for some reason I couldn't get in contact you know, usually. What kind of the lines uh, to to my nurse, mental health nurses are are um, usually open very well, but I couldn't get in contact with mm. any of them that day. Mm. And then I got the call from Apostle Albert, and he said, "You know, come up to Foundation Ministries in the Elevation Business Park." And um, I came up, anyways, and. Um, for some reason, I was very, I was very uh, 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 worried, and uh, I remember what I remember the day you, you prayed over to me, over me, watch God to relieve my worry uh, at the time, and um, I felt a consciousness almost like enter my body, like and my soul and my being. I, I can't describe it, but I, I like you know that's how I, I felt it, like you know and. You know, I later found out like that was the Holy Spirit, like mm. that it that it that it entered my 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 consciousness because I felt the peace that I'd never felt before. I I, I felt like I had found what I was looking for. I uh, like you know I I basically you know I didn't have to meditate like you know it didn't go away. Mm. You know it it was I was I felt like it was always going to be there, and I felt like Not like you know like like the, this place that I entered like it's almost like as if I come home I had arrived uh, uh, like I, I've I've been arrived. Set up, I've arrived at mm. my journey like mm. you know mm. and um, you know I, I, I received uh, the spirit of Christ mm. that, 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 that day mm. you know and you know um, my life has never been the same again I'm a worship musician you know in the oh, church yeah. and um, mm. you know my life is 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 is, is, is looking up praise be to God oh, you know yeah. and um, you know uh, what without God in my life I, I don't think I could survive so um, you know praise be to God oh, you know yeah. uh, um, you know, mm -hmm. I've been born again, you know, and I've been grown. I do ministering and, and things that I never thought I could do before, you know. And so, praise be to the Lord for that, you know. Hallelujah. You know. <laughs> what a great joy, you know. There are so many no's out there on the streets that God is expecting us to go and bring into his fold. There's so many. Don't wait for people to come into the four walls of the church. Take the gospel outside there. 
Jesus still delivered. You can imagine just one touch with Apostle Lavax and the Holy Spirit finished the work. What if Apostle Lavax didn't meet with him on the street that day? Where would he have been now? He would have still been there suffering. Jesus did not come to condemn us. He came to set us free. The plan of God is not for sickness for us. It's for us to be healed. The plan of God is not for us to be depressed. It's for us to have joy. The plan of God is not for us to die. It's for us to have life. John 10.10 10 says, Jesus came that we may have life and have it in abundance. It's still available today. Jesus is still healing the sick. Jesus is still raising the dead. Jesus is still giving people hope. Jesus is still making destinies anew. He's still doing the work. Make ourselves available. Let's make ourselves available. That's why the Bible says that the harvest is plenty. But the laborers are few. Let us come out of our comfort zone. Go in on the streets. Go on the road. Go into the hospital. Everywhere. Tell them Jesus still heals. Jesus still delivers. Jesus still gives hope. Jesus, the peace he left is still available. And I'm just going to read this scripture because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 23, he says, Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all disease and sicknesses among the people. News about him spread all over Syria, and people brought him all who were ill with various diseases, those suffering from acute pain, like our brother Noah, and the demon possessed, those having seizures and paralyzed. He healed them all. Mm. Jesus is still doing the same. He's still healing every one of any disease he still heals diseases it's not a thing of oh he's still available jesus is still healing those suffering from acute pain no matter the pain you're suffering whether rheumatism whether arthritis whether back pain whatever pain jesus still heals pain today and whatever whether you're having seizures jesus still heals seizures today there is no sickness mentioned on the face of this earth that Jesus cannot heal. He is still delivering people, those who are demon possessed. He's still doing the same today. And Jesus is still, in any form, in any way, whatever be your situation, he is going to do. I'm just going to close this broadcast as I pray. Because you, you know, as you see, his faith is so challenging. His faith is so real and so true. And I want to say, no man can reach him. It's only Christ that can reach him. You know, people out there, there are many, many, many. Don't start looking for no now. Don't start looking for him. Look for Christ. He met with Christ, and Christ changes life. Go. There are so many no's out there that God can bring forth. There are so many music worshippers. There are so many, so many people, great preachers that are there on the street that God is waiting for you and I to go and bring forth. Many Timothy is there, many Barnabas, is, many, many Matthew, many, many of the, the apostles are still outside there. Let us go and fetch them. And I know that the Lord, his kingdom will have no end. His glory will know no bound. He is still in charge of the whole world. He has not lost his power and he will not lose his power. And I'm praying now. No, you want to stretch forth your hand as we pray for yes. those who are watching. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one scripture I'd like to, uh, uh, I think it, it's um, Matthew 11, 26. Uh, uh, um, uh, I, I will give you, I, I will give you, uh, you know, come to me heavy, heavily, uh, those who are heavily burdened and I will give you Let rest. It. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I think that that's uh, that's from that scripture. I'm not, I'm not sure which one, but you know, like you know, um, Jesus Christ will give you rest, like mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. um, you know, like your life will never be the same, like yes. and it will be all all for the better, yes. you know, and um, 
you know it's it's not really a, a hard like you, you the hard thing to do you don't have to meditate or you don't have to you just have to accept him into your heart mm -hmm. and you know he'll promise you peace he yeah. promise you glory he promise you victory mm -hmm. you know um you know what more could you ask for you know um so you know thank you jesus for everything you amen know? You know? amen you have the opportunity to give your life to christ we're watching across the world you have the opportunity jesus is the only way there is no two ways he's the way the truth and the life no one come to the father except through him god created a beautiful world satan came and spoiled the world jesus is our substitution he came and rescued what devil spoils and then we are the redeemed he has paid for it you don't need to pay again jesus just come and enjoy what jesus has paid for all he wants for you is anyone who believes we begin to enjoy the life we have in christ jesus Father, we want to thank you tonight. Say, thank yeah. you, God, for your mercy and your kindness. Thank you, God, because if you can reach Noel, you can reach anybody. You can reach anybody. Lord, I pray. Those who are struggling at this time, Lord, let there be peace in their hearts. Lord, let them have that strength and that grace to come out of their comfort zone and enter into their step-up zone where they will begin to experience you in another dimension. And Lord, we stand in agreement. Anyone who is sick in any form, be healed of your sicknesses. We present the blood of Jesus. Be healed of any form of mental uh, issue. Babola, whatever it is, depression, be healed. Every mental issue, be healed of it now. In the name of Jesus. Those who are sick with any form of seizures, be healed of seizures. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone who is sick with any kind of acute pain, pain, go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. We cast out every demon, wherever they are. Every form of unclean spirit, we cast you out, mm -hmm. out of our world, out of our families, out of our churches, mm -hmm. out of wherever you are hiding. In the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. we plead the blood of Jesus across the world, and we say, let there be restoration, let there be salvation, let there be, oh God, fullness of power of God, walking among the people of God. Thank you, Lord, for you are building your church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail. I plead the blood of Jesus over no. And I say, God, no evil will befall him, and no plague will come near his dwelling. Lord, the way you stood by the woman of revelation, the Lord will carry her outside the reach of the enemy, outside the reach of Satan. Lord, I ask you today, carry no above every reach of satanic powers in the name of Jesus. You are seated in heavenly places, no, far above principalities and powers. And I declare the enemies are under your foot. They cannot come. They are under your foot. And they remain under your foot. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You're blessed. You're blessed. It's been a possible. pleasure. It's thank you so pleasure. much. Thank you so You're much. You're blessed, son. <laughs> Keep on shining for Jesus. No problem. And no thank problem. you, Lord. God bless you. Jesus is Lord. God bless you. And he is building his church. And the gate of hell cannot, cannot prevail. prevail. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.